All righty then. So, I tried to get to this sooner, but things have been very, very busy around my place. It's um, coming into fall, and that's no excuse whatsoever because it has nothing to do with that. But I'm going to use that. Nah, um, there's been a lot going on. So, I apologize that I have been neglectful in doing all of this, but... So, this is the second portion of the conversation that JJJ and Valona have with, um, with Glenn, with Kimberly. You know, the more times I watch this, the less I'm impressed I am with her, with Glenn, and the more impressed I am with Jenny and Valona. I mean, oh my God such amazing women to be able to hold themselves together. I think I would have been going through the screen and wringing a neck. So anyway, as before, I am going to play this at double speed. And um, that is just to speed it up for you guys so that there aren't as many sections to it. Um, it also changes it so that I can just play it through. And, you know, last time, uh, my tongue was bleeding afterwards because I wanted to say so much, but I'm going to do the same thing this time because I think it means a lot more if you're just watching it. So, all right, moving on. You really was, thought you knew what you were doing and you didn't. I think I that your experience on YouTube has I been totally no different. Bloody clue. I had no business doing it and I had no clue. That's the goddess truth. That's the truth. I had no business doing it, and I didn't know what I was doing. And that's no. <laughs> there's no way of fitting it up. Like, that's okay, just, can, that's can I the truth. Can I interject yep. for just one second? I just wanted, yes. to, wanted to help out for just a minute. So, um, adjust my mic as needed. I put it down low. I don't know where yours, your guys's are at, but um, so when when it comes to stuff like this, it can be it can feel like you're almost sitting in a hot seat, being questioned by a whole bunch of people that yeah. have varying differences of opinions. Jenny does these because she wants um she wants to be able to publicly have the conversation to ask the questions to help. So this is oh, I'm, I'm so thankful she is doing it. Very thankful. Yeah. So okay. one, th one thing that's happening, uh, it's coming from someone who's in the chat kind of listening, one thing that's happening is there's a lot of talking over top of each other. And so right. it comes off as, and I, I just, I want, I want to help you understand this. It comes off as being defensive. And I know you, oh, Kimberly, yeah. we've talked before. I know you have been on a panel with you before. Uh -huh. uh, I know that, that that's not necessarily the case. So I wanted to bring that up. Okay. If, uh, if, if we stop talking over top of each other, it doesn't come off as defensive. And then people are actually hearing what you're saying and then able to hear Jenny's whole question. Right. Sorry, I, I'm not like I'm not trying to. I'm I, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. I, I, think get, I think she gets nervous. I think yeah. like it's a nervous thing, and then she just you know. Nervous, Jenny. I don't like this. I don't. I don't even know how to cope. That's the god. Yeah, because you're not used I to any of this. I don't I don't like my husband said to me today. I said we have to get home. Like I have to do this. He's like, Kimberly, just th throw it out the bloody window, basically. And I said, I'm yeah. wrong. Like I told him, I was wrong. I I admit I fucked up. I totally own it. Like I was wrong. And I told I him, even if, even if I throw it out the window, I still need to own it because it's not me. Right. So. And look, I think one of the main things people are really upset about um, entirely is like the com the dirty community posts. Like that's you know kind of that a double, triple down, you know? You know where that came from, Jenny? Where? So I made this apology twice to Lucy She's and to like, traffic, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and I done it twice to them. And uh, then the next thing I see Lucy and tragic over in another chat and the whole fucking chat is what just trash show and the two of them are in it that they're all talking about doing fucking parodies on me uh i mean it's, it was just a shit show so i still never did said a damn thing i still went and did my second apology to both lucy came up on panel and lucy acted as everything was totally fine and no sorry it was that was this when lucy came up that was the second time but lucy had come up on panel and Lucy was in a chat, and but up on panel, she totally acted like she was completely fine. Yeah, she understood everything I was saying, and and I, I mean, I owned my, I owned my wrongdoings. Like I totally did. I said I fucked up, and then I saw them just trash the living fuck right up to me. So I still never said shit. Then I see a, tra a community post on tragic, and it said since Kimberly gave Michelle a safe place. No, I mean I'm not saying this word for word, but you know a digit of it. Said basically I gave Michelle a safe place to trash her them. She's going to give everyone a safe place to have their say about me. That's where the community post came from. That's when I said, please, everyone go and report it. When I said that, 
Jenny, that was like three o'clock in the morning. I never yes. fucking slept at all the whole Sunday night. I never closed my fucking eyes. Uh, yeah, and that's that's the whole reason. Look, y'all, this is the whole reason I'm doing this because, like I said, I don't think so Liam, is, I don't think she did anything intentional. I think she doesn't like a lot of people don't realize if you don't want to make something to be made, um, I know, and you it, don't address it. Like it just, just bigger and bigger. The more you, the more you fight, and double down. You're interrupting, Jenny. This is the more you, the more you fight and double down, the worse it gets, and it goes on and on and on. And like even though I don't think you knew how to handle any of it. But you didn't handle it correctly. You know what I mean? Regardless, you know, because like people are just kind of what's the word I'm looking for? Um, they're defensive, too, because mm -hmm. they've handled all this with Michelle for a long time, you know, and so she's, it just gets worse and worse, you know, she's done some pretty unforgettable things. Tragic. Do you want to come up and talk to her? Would you like, you like Jenny, all I can say is that I, I know I did wrong when I said on that community, when I said on my community post, please go report it. Like like I said, this was like three or four o'clock in the morning my time. And if no one believes that, like you could go and look at the time in there. It's fine. Um, that's when I did it. Was I thinking? Frank, no. I never gave it a second damn thought other than I was just like, Lord, jump in Jesus. You know what I mean? Like that was my, yeah. that's where I was coming from. So yeah, I was going to take it down completely yesterday. And I was told, no, don't take it down. Don't dare take it down because then it'll be even worse. And so I did remove the part where I said, please report. I wasn't even friggin' thinking. I truly wasn't. I really was not 100%. But I mean, I did it, so I owed it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I owed it. I did it. I'm responsible for it, but I wasn't even thinking clearly. So that's all I can say. Yeah. Glenn, do you want to take a deep breath and maybe like stretch your arms or something like that? I'm okay. Oh, I'm okay. I, I don't want to hear you this upset. I'm okay. I think, I think I'm okay. can I, if, I want to explain to you that um, a lot of people learn the hard way that whenever, especially whenever you're new over in this community, a lot, a lot of people learn that getting into the drama absolutely brings them, you know, it, they build their channel off of it very quickly. But then whenever that dramatic situation stops or goes away or the people leave or whatever, then you kind of crash and burn. But if you, are authentically yourself and you start a channel and you know, you'll, you'll grow on your own. You know what I mean? Like every day you'll achieve new yeah. goals and you'll grow on your own without having all of the animosity and the hatred. And I think what people are very, very upset with, I, I was pretty upset. I'll be honest with you, not judgmental, but upset because uh -huh. I've seen this crazy beast run through the community, not I just know. with tragic, so I many know. different people that she's hurt very unforgivably and yeah. to see her. So it's like to see her on a panel with somebody laughing, cutting up, and you know, kind of running freely at the mouth, making her excuses and yeah. whatever kind of sucks, as opposed to the difference being when she's on Jenny's panel, Jenny's asking her the questions and then calling her out on the lies. When, yeah, when Jenny would ask her, Did you do this? And, and Michelle would say, No, Jenny's like, Yeah, you did. Yeah, you yeah, did. you're right. <laughs> kind of holding right. her to it, as opposed to, you know, where it feels like, you know, a couple of girls are, are just cutting it up and having and having a good time. And I think for in my opinion, I think that's why a lot of people in the community, it's the people that have been very hurt yeah. by things that she's said or done in their real life or against them that are very, very upset. But like my last intent was to ever ever hurt one person not mm -hmm. one person do i want to hurt like all i want to do is help people so the thought yeah. that's what ripped me up the most was the thought that knowing that i hurt people yeah i can understand I'm so that. Sorry. I'm you're so a kind sorry. person you're, you're very sorry kind to anybody that i did hurt i truly like if there's anything that i could do to make it right like i'll do my damnedest there's yeah. I'm so sorry. That's all I can say is I own what I did. I like I'm not making mm -hmm. excuses for what I did. I I own it, and all mm -hmm. I can say is that I'm sorry, and I'll do my best to move it forward. One, okay. one thing you've got to learn, and I don't know if you've watched, like I'm sure you've seen it when Michelle's done it, the over talking people and like not letting them finish their sentences. That you know, I know you're nervous. I know I get it, and I think that you're you're wanting to respond so quickly, and I think that's why you over talk when somebody's talking. Uh -huh. I think you're nervous, and you you know what I mean. But yeah. that. That's it. what ticks people off too, you know. Right. So I, I think the thing that would help, like I think you're sincere. I don't know, other people might not, but to me, like, to be here, number one, it shows plenty. You know, it shows you want to fix things, and and like you're being truthful to me. I, I believe, you know, I think that you bit off more than you could chew, That's and I so think, good. I think that the best thing to maybe, you know, is you are making your apologies, you know, and people can, um take it or leave it that right. uh, that's what i was trying to do though is give a place where you could tell people how you feel genuinely you know uh -huh. and i think that you are i think that you know the only other thing would be just to i don't know take a break and kind of does tragic want to come up because i will definitely I, i'm trying um yeah in the meantime take here. a deep breath read the back chat i put you i put you a message in the back chat okay. just take a deep breath Jenny, yeah. Jenny's whole intention is to kind of give you the opportunity to explain and so 
when it comes to yeah. this, there's like specific things that people are upset or, or pissed or want to want to understand better. Yeah. So let her let her finish the whole question. When yeah. that one word comes out, it kind of triggers that you want to you want to react. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I just it's it's okay. It's okay. Right. I just agree. Like in the one words, and I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's okay. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> it's it's an uncomfortable spot. But Jenny doesn't bring people up here to make things worse. She brings people right. up here to give them a voice. And I'm hoping a resolution. Here. Tragic. Yeah. Um, I think she was trying to tell you that um that once you say something or whatever on your channel, it's gonna also come back at you you know yeah oh, i understand I, I totally understand Dale. In the I, moment, I, like i didn't i know and i don't think i really think that maybe from now on people can you know they'll see a difference you'll you know they'll have to see it themselves you know i think people are very upset about the post and what else was it um let me see okay so but jenny i would have removed it but then I've said, told, like, okay, if you remove it, you're, you're, you're bad. If you don't, you know what I mean? So I didn't know. So would people like for me to, like, I have no problem removing it. Not a problem in this world. You know what I mean? But I didn't know if I was damned if I do it, damned if I don't at that moment because it was already done. You know what I'm saying? Yes, because, yes, because when you do something and then if you delete it, you know, they'll call you either a, a wimp or um, that you were trying to hide something, you know? So I get it. Like, once it's done, you know, you yeah. either have to stand behind it or not. So, hang on, so, let me ask some question here. Jenny, uh, but I mean, now with that being said, like I reacted to, I reacted to something. So like, you know, like, is that right to see that though? Like, you know, like, I, I I'm think, wrong. you know what I'm I saying? Think, like, you know well, what I mean? Here's the thing that people don't get, especially, I don't think you're suited for drama. I really don't glam. I don't think you can handle it. I think that you respond to everything and that is so not the way to do things. You right. have to pick your fights wisely on here. And um, it, it is picking a fight when you address something like that. It, that is absolutely picking a fight. So yeah. That's the way YouTube yeah, works. Yeah. It's always been that way and always will. If you address it, you're fighting, you know? Absolutely. So, and okay. what you did was address all these people and try to answer everybody. And yeah, so I thought that's what I should do. Or I everybody. Like, like, I thought if I didn't do that, then I, you know, like I didn't know what I was supposed to do. So I thought, okay, I'll try to answer the questions as honestly as I can, like be as truthful as I can. And, but it didn't matter. Yeah. Like, you know, it just didn't matter. And people had their minds made up at that point anyway. So, it, you yeah. know, a lot of times they do. Like, they don't care what you, what you ask, what they ask you. They're asking you just because they want to hear something, but their mind is already made up. And, you know, so like to me, then it's why I ask because nothing I can say can change that if that's the case. You know, like, I don't know. When you, and when you, when you feel like someone's mind is already made up, that's probably just for future reference, like that's probably not the best time to respond or react to something. Sometimes let everybody cool down and then come with your heart and your truth and then explain it. And then the people that are upset are going to stay upset and the people that aren't, aren't going to stay upset. But Jenny's right about the drama community. Um, I've learned the, the hard way that if you're a very kind person or if you're uh, empathic or if other people's feelings bother you or, or their opinions bother you, you have to kind of build up your resistance to that because when people on all, of all walks of life when people understand that saying i'm just going to use words for instance i don't mean any of the things i'm going to say but if some i think you're absolutely beautiful if someone were to say that you were ugly and that got a reaction out of you they're going to say it every day all day and all their friends are going to say it every day yep. all day just to get that reaction and so it's also when you, when you hang out with like if your inner circle of people or those that you talk to most also have that same reactive personality where everything that's said or done they have they have an opinion and they, they voice it um, you'll find yourself kind of mimicking that, falling into those habits. But if you hang out with people, for the most part here, that pick and choose what they react or respond to, and the other things don't bother them. If people call me a crackhead, and I, I don't give a shit, you know what I mean? But some people, that would bother them to the end of the earth, and they would go on and react to that. And so you have to pick and choose what you react with, and kind of who has your back and who whose back you have, who's going to be willing to stand with you when it, when all of the hate does come. Does that make sense? Yeah, I understand completely. I just okay. honestly thought that I had to respond. Like, and I, I mean, I wasn't trying to be hateful to in the comments. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm sure some of them were. Like, I'm not going to say they weren't. I'm sure, I, you know, I'm just sure they probably were. Um, and one, thing, one thing to explain, actually, Glam, right, like the comments, right? Let, let's think about that for a minute. When you're on YouTube, it's kind of like you're performing something for entertainment to be watched, right? And right. your audience, the comments, are there to give their... Uh, the, their opinion on how you right. performed or what you did or you know what i mean it, you can look at it either way and that's what they're there for but every comment does not need to be addressed and you know it's their opinion of what you did you can like it or not it, you know you don't have to address it i guess and i think that a lot of that is also part of the problem you know yeah like, no, i just thought I don't, that uh, like the reason why I did comment to so much uh, was just I thought that I had to because I caused so much shit for myself. I just thought, okay, if I'm going to make it any better, like no, now I know it, that doesn't help. But I just thought, okay, if I'm going to if I'm going to explain myself at all, that's what I needed to do because I do know better, Jenny. I just honestly I do know better what to do. Well, okay, so Uber is here. Okay. And she's been she's been on here with me the probably the whole time I've been here too. So yeah, we've been together many years. You know, the one thing we try to tell new people that want to come out here and you know get on a live stream and talk smack is first think about what you're doing before you do it 
Number one, you put yourself out there, expect to get flack, no matter whether it's nice stuff you put out or bad, you're always going to get some kind of rebuttal, some kind of smart ass up here that doesn't like you. But when you come in hot like you did, being new to the, the, the uh, drama community, you came in hot going after a lot of people in comments and people that really didn't deserve it. Now, my understanding was you wanted to try to build a channel. That's a great way if you want to build a channel, but you got to understand that you need to accept what comes back at you. And really, to be honest with you, I don't think you're ready for that. And, and you being up here in crime tells us that you're not ready for the rebuttals. Okay. And, and that's just my opinion. Well, actually, there's a lot of opinions like that. But uh -huh. my whole point is, if you don't want to get shit back at you, then shut your mouth. Uh-huh. Got ya. Yeah, very true. I mean, it just, and I don't think that you're, that's my whole thing. That's why I wanted to do this. I think you did dig a hole, you know. But yeah. I think if from today, everybody kind of talking to you and you expressing everything, you know, and just being honest, I think then going forward, you know, whatever mm -hmm. you're going to do, maybe it's, cal it, everybody will calm down, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm hoping for. And right. you know, the thing is, Glam, you're not any better than I am. I'm, I not any better. I'm not, please let me finish before you interrupt me. Oh, no problem. Go right ahead. You're not any better than I am. I'm not any better than you are or anybody else up here on this platform. So remember that when you talk to people. I never thought I was any better than anybody. Uh, and if, if that's the way that I came across, well, then I 100% apologize for that. It was never, never in my, never my intent. And I mean, if that's the way people feel, then I'm sorry. I, I never, I never intended to do that. Oh, yeah, people feel like you've been talking down to them. Absolutely. Very I, I felt that when I was on that interview, that thing, like, um, that's where it started. Like, that's why I said it almost feels like it was influenced by Michelle because it was her attitude. Like, where, you know, like you were talking down to everybody. Like they were children. It was, it was awful. And that's why I said, Jenny, like I stopped and I, and it probably, I, I mean, I done it. I, I take the ownership for it. Looking back at it, I was, I was ugly. Um, I mean, there's no other thing to say. Yeah. I was just, I was ugly. And didn't something in, didn't something I really in was. Your head I'm, I'm taking the ownership for it. Like I know I was, and I read the chat and then I stopped treating the chat. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if it was a combination of everything. That's all I can say. Like, not that I'm making excuses for it, but I, that's all I can think that it could have, could have been and just not fucking know what I'm doing. Like that could have been just a combination of everything compiled. That's what I think happened. But something had to have told you this isn't right. I'm going in pretty hard. I was or, or you... I was I was off I was mixed. I was like, oh. okay, maybe people will see the softer side of Michelle and maybe she can make wrongs right. Like that's that's where I was thinking. Like maybe like I knew there'd be a mix. I knew there might be some that would be like, yeah, okay, let's give her like okay, I'll give her five percent. You know what I mean? Like and there'd well, be other that are like the hell to the no. I knew there'd be a mix. I knew that. But but I don't you think you were the miracle worker? She's been on the suffer for over a year. Don't so start with me, Glam. Don't fucking start with me. Well, you want me to Don't fucking, fucking start you with me, Glam. Right? I'll tell you right now, Missy. You oh, dumped yeah, this okay. fucking hole. Okay. You dumped this fucking hole. Come you on after me. Right. me. Come on, baby. Come on after me. Oh, oh, you started this fucking shit. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, my God. That's not what this is about. Well, I'm the question. Thinking, like, if she wants me to finish my sentence, like, let me finish. Like, I'm giving her the respect to finish hers. So just let me finish what I have to say before you want to cut me off. That's all. Like, no big deal. Go for it. Can I, ask, for you, it. Can I ask you a question, Gliam? Can I ask you one question? No problem. Sure. Okay. When it comes to Michelle, mm -hmm. uh, did you know? Okay. So when you started asking her the questions, yeah. did you know that she wasn't being honest or that she was deflecting or blaming other oh, people? Did you know yes. That? 100%. Yes, yes, yes. There was a lot of things. Yes, yes. I knew. I was like, okay, now, like, this is no, no, no. And I, and I explained like the next day or whatever it was I said no I was wrong and I did did say I was wrong again and I said my reasoning behind that was because I didn't want to be there the whole gloom and night and that's why I said to Michelle don't read the chat like like looking back Jenny I know you're 100% right your chat is what makes it for you I, I get that but mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting that and I had no clue I, I just didn't know what the hell okay. I was doing I didn't so a follow-up question to that would be when you at when you were asking her the questions and she was flat out lying to you and your audience what was the thing that held you back from, from flat out saying that's not true Michelle and letting and then not letting her because I just I figured it wouldn't go anywhere I just thought like what the hell is the point it's not going to go anywhere like if she if I'm asking her a question and she's giving me an answer doesn't matter what I'm saying it's not going to change that that was my thinking behind it but mm -hmm. I'm not saying that's the right thinking like don't get me wrong I'm not saying that that was the right way to approach it but in that mm -hmm. moment that's what I was thinking but okay. when I was doing it and when I was preparing like planning for it I wasn't prepared for that you know what i'm saying like I, I you know i wrote the questions but i wasn't prepared for if i ask her and she gives me the wrong answer like what am i going to do i wasn't prepared mentally for that at all at all so, so can i ask a question now please sure no problem you've known michelle and what she's done for over the past year right what made you think that people would change their mind after an interview with her she's already dug her hole hurt a lot of people lied about a lot of things people's minds are already know what she's about and already made up about her 
So what made you think you could change people's minds? So I thought that, like, my thinking was, you know, she had been off for a few months. Like, well, not not off, don't get me wrong, not off completely, but not having a channel or doing any of that sort for the last few months. And, you know, she was talking about her therapy and, you know, that she's done change. And like I said to Michelle, though, you can't just say that I have changed. You have to show change. Like, it just it's not just words. Same thing if I say I'm sorry. You have to prove that you are sorry for your actions, right? <clears throat> so I just, I thought, like, just having her, like when she came in, came on my panel, like a couple of days, two or three days before that, and everything was calm. And I was thinking, yeah, like I can see that there is change. And, but I didn't mean though, like, and I did say that, and I know people were thinking, oh, geez, she's thinking she's changed. No. <clears throat> and what I meant by that was I see change. Like one thing, like Michelle would never, ever let anyone ever talk. Like we all know that. And I thought, okay, well, like she's letting me talk and we're talking like two grown adults. So that's a change. And I was thinking, so maybe there's more that people will want to see. That was my thinking. But I also, I never thought it through. I, I true, Honest to God, I did not think it through about the amount of people that will forever be hurt by things that Michelle has said and done. I truly didn't. And for that, I am sorry. I'm 100% sorry. I never thought. I, I didn't give it enough thought. When Michelle asked me if I wanted to do it, I said, sure. And I never thought what the repercussions of it would be. I truly didn't. I wasn't prepared for that. And a lot of people... We're telling, like, I remember this, at least myself, people right. were saying, we told her not to do it. We told her what the um, outcome would be. So, you know, that's a lot of the reason people don't feel sorry or bad about it. Because, so you know. I was on a panel. I'm not going to say who it was. And there was two women on there. And um, there was two women in there. And both of them went and said, well, we told you so. And it really pissed me off. Not that they said, I told you so. But the fact that they never spoke to me before I ever did it. They've never spoke to me before. So where do I told you so come from? You know what I'm saying? So the next day I heard it again from one of them. And I said, now, excuse me, I'm going to correct you there because you never, ever spoke to me about that. So don't go around saying, I told you so when you never, ever spoke to me. And she said, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> so, you know, people are saying that um, there were people like when I said, when I, and I, po I made a post and I said something, um, you know, like if anyone had any questions or whatever. And there were a few, like a couple, two or three or something. I could go back. I'm sure I still have it there. Um, who said like, maybe it's not a good idea or whatever. But there wasn't a lot of it. There wasn't a lot of it. There was like, you know, old news or saints, you know, stuff like that. But to come right out and say, I told you so. <laughs> no, not really. Not really. But I mean, I could have still listened to the, you know, the, even the don't do it or she's old or whatever. I could have, but I never, I choose not to. So I own it. I done it. And I like, I can't take it back. So, and that's why I say all I can do moving forward is own my mistakes and I made a lot of them and just own them. Is it true that you were a mod for Michelle? Someone in the chat just said no, that. I'll do the no, okay. never, right. never. Right. I seen that wrote down too. No, never, never. Okay. You were not a mod. Oh, no, no, no. Paloma, I will take that back. So uh, before Michelle, when Michelle got shut down, like when she originally, when she was on a strike from her, and she still had her channel and she went on her backup channel. And when she got banned <laughs> that night before that she got shut down completely, she made me a mod. So for maybe a half an hour, I was mod. <laughs> that's it. Okay. No, that's so it. You, but you have watched her um, for a period of time. You've like, you know, her history here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. So did you think that she was going to come up on the on your panel and actually, uh, I mean, did you think that she would be honest with anything, that she would own anything um, before you even went into it? Uh, it was hit and miss, to tell you the truth, Paloma. Mm -hmm. Like, I wasn't sure if everything would be completely up front or if I would be just been, I, I really, I didn't know. I was thinking, okay, it could be either way, to be honest. Okay. Like, I, I, I can I, tell I you what a lot of it is, too. It's also that, like, not just, you know, of course, like we're talking about your attitude in the interview, right? Yeah. Well, it, people felt like you were white knighting, defending, coddling yeah. Michelle and, and I, I you know, that going at them so that's the reason you're getting the response you got you know yeah. that's a lot of it because of you know it's like the <laughs> whole white night thing of michelle it kind of did look that way you know and i understand that and i and you know what they're not wrong jenny they're not wrong i i did and and i think it's just my name like i i do have a nurturing nature anyway and i think it was just me wanting to make things like you know like easy breezy you know what i mean like just making it calm and i think that's that's the only thing i could say like that that's i thought maybe <laughs> I, I don't, and like looking back at it, yes, I see that. But when it was happening, I wasn't recognizing it. And then when people were like, you were coddling and I look back and I was like, hell to the yes. Yes, yes, yes. 100. I absolutely did. But in the moment, I wasn't thinking of, I wasn't thinking about that, but I did. I feel like Here's a lot of people, I, go ahead. Hang on. Here's what I think, actually. I think that when Michelle came on, you know, the first time and you can like take this, you know, I'm not saying it to be mean. I'm just saying, if you would just admit it, I think people would go on and move on. But I think what happened is, you know, you have worked on your channel for a long time. You've, in my opinion, you were doing a great real channel of makeup and, you know, tutorials and stuff like that. I enjoyed it. I did watch it here and there. Okay, you guys. So that was the second part of it. Um, let me know what you think. So 
I am going to, I will put the um, community post up as well, um, included in here, not put it up, but I'll include it in here so that those of you who didn't get to read it can. Um, she kept saying, I didn't think, I didn't think, I didn't think, I didn't think. And you can't just not think in the drama community because you're just opening yourself up to all sorts of things. We all know this. We all know this. And when it comes to Michelle, if you don't think, you're dead in the water. Right? So... You know, oh, I shouldn't have done it. Oh, I wasn't ready. I know I shouldn't have done it. Michelle told me this and that and something else. And she asked me if I wanted to do an interview with her. She wanted me, you know, she wanted to talk to me. Well, it wasn't an interview, as we all know. It was Michelle having a platform where she could just, Defend, 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 deflect, 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 blame, 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 blame. She blames everyone, and this is unfortunately where we are with Glam as well. She's blaming, she's deflecting, she's defending, and as many times as she says, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There is still no explanation for a community post that said to report, in particular, Tragic, who everybody loves, and for very good reason. Tragic is an amazing person. And also her whole stance on Lucy, you know. And, I mean, come on. Saying, you know, I, she'll give a safe place for Michelle so everybody can come over here. It's part of the drama community. That's what people do. If you're going to comment and critique other people's work and other people's videos, be prepared because that's what's going to happen. That's what you're going to face is other people coming back at you. Because that's how it works. I don't like it. You don't like it. Nobody likes it. But you can't break down in tears and say things like, why can everybody else do something that I'm not, you know, that I can't do? Well, if you're going to act like a nine-year-old, you're going to be treated like a nine-year-old. So if you're prepared for this, more power to you. If you're not, unfortunately, this is what you're going to face. You didn't want everybody to come at you, and you didn't want everybody to have an opinion. And in my opinion, the tears that you were shedding, crocodile tears, by the way, they were, feel sorry for me, feel sorry for me, feel sorry for me. And your quaking voice and you're talking over people, that was a control issue. That was not nerves. That was not, you know, oh, I'm not ready for this. Oh, I did something wrong. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was a control issue. That was, feel sorry for me so that I can get away with whatever I want to get away with because now I'm facing the music and people are unhappy with me. And there is no salvation for Michelle. You are not going to save Michelle. There's just no way. And in my opinion, this entire interview, JJJ was trying so hard to give Glam the benefit of the doubt. And she was trying so hard to let Glam speak her mind and dig her way out of that hole. And all she did, all Glam did, was dig that hole even deeper. So, call it as you will. Um, that's my opinion, and my opinion only. 
Let me know what you think, though. I mean, seriously, do you think that this interview went well for Glam? Do you think that she kind of proved herself wrong? I don't know. All right, you guys, in my opinion, she did herself a lot of disservice. And then she went back to defending herself on other channels. So why is it that someone can have Michelle for an interview, have her up on their panel, and I can't? Um, well, because the reasons and the ways are different. And you had no clue. Absolutely no clue. And you admitted that. But I don't think it really sank in. I think you were making excuses. I think you were trying to, to impress one side and then impress the other. Yeah. People aren't going to soften up to Michelle. I'm sorry. They're just not. We know, Michelle, you obviously do not understand the situation. Okay, I'm done with my tirade. You guys have a great day. I love you. Take care of yourselves. Take care of the people you love. Make sure you make some extra time for yourselves. It's coming into autumn and, you know, sniffles and sneezes and coughs are starting. And, you know, this is the time of year when depression starts hitting. So get out there, do things, take care of yourselves. Alrighty. I love you guys. I will see you later.